Are you sad Asterism didn't win? Miss its gold-flecked eyes were earnest, staring up at Fex. Fex paused at the entrance to the practice room. Win? The Best New Pantheon Award. Truth be told, Fex had already forgotten about the Divine Awards, even though they'd ended yesterday. No. Miss it wrinkled his nose in that utterly endearing way. I am. Fex's heart sank. Had he disappointed Miss it? Tive stuck her head out from behind the curtain over the doorway. Fex, there you are. Oh, hello, Miss it. Are you sad about losing? Miss it instantly asked. Tive grinned, teeth pointy and menacing, but her tone was deferential. Of course. Miss it clicked softly. Affirmation and sympathy. You know, till I'm one, our first year. Yes, but there were fewer groups back then to compete against, protested Coggy, his silver head also sticking out from behind the curtain, on the other side of the doorway from Tive and lower down. Telem also got to practice together for much longer than we did before debuting, added Tive. Missit held up both graceful hands and turned pleading eyes to Fex. No need to be defensive. I was simply hoping you'd follow in our footsteps. That's all. Sorry, Miss It, said Fex, voice low, meaning it. Perhaps they should have tried harder. Honestly, he hadn't thought winning awards was important. Some of Fex's fear must have shown in his face. Because Miss It put a hand to his forearm. I'm not mad at you. The voting system is clearly rigged. Tive snorted. Ta! <laughs> Nevertheless, my brother is going to be unsufferable about this. She and Zill had a contentious sibling relationship, or maybe rivalry was a better way of describing it. You realize that you don't have to follow in anyone's footsteps, right? Kagi was clearly encompassing both Tive taking her brother's path and Fex taking Missed's. Zill's are very graceful footsteps, though. Galaxy's best, some would say. Tive was all sarcasm. Do you want us to be like Tillam? Fex asked both Tive and Miss it for clarification. Because I don't think that's possible. Kagi snapped. Must we deal with your collective inferiority complexes right now? Hey, said Tive. Fex wanted to say that where Tillam and Missit were concerned, they, well, he, was inferior. It wasn't a complex, it was a fact. But Kagi looked like he might hit him if he did. And Missit would be upset, too. Missit hated it when Fex talked like he was lesser. He was lesser, but Missit refused to believe it. An acolyte came gliding down the hallway toward them. Their latest assigned Procadio was a slender, frenetic dicey with particularly flappy crests, who seemed young and worried all the time. Finding Missit talking with the demigods, it made a full obeisance. Finger flick, crest way back, even lowering its gaze. Missit looked faintly embarrassed by such obsequiousness, but also realized he was still clutching Fex's forearm and dropped contact quickly. No need, Percadio. How can I help the divinity today? Missit was very good at formal speech, but that only made the acolyte even more deferential. Your pardon, great one. Its cheeks went opaque with embarrassment. It is not you. I am here to speak with asterism. Missit flashed a smile. That'll teach me to assume it's always about me. Well, babies, better luck at next year's awards. I'll be off. Missit twirled and trotted away, presumably off to find the rest of Tillam. Fix watched him go, gaze lingering on the dicey influence in his walk and the sway of his hips. At least he didn't call us losers, said Coggy, side-eyeing Fix. Fix dipped his head, embarrassed to be caught yearning. Fortunately, the acolyte seemed oblivious. Shall we go inside? Suggested Fex politely to the dicey. Please, replied the Bricadio. Crest wilted a little, presumably in relief at not having to deal with Missin. But once they were inside the practice room, with all six of Asterism collected expectantly around the acolyte, the dicey became nervous again, even though they were lesser gods. Are you here to inform us of our next tour stop? Asked Fex gently, trying to prompt the poor thing. Are we expecting an imminent departure? asked Fendina, following Fex's lead. 